Hi, this is Mrs. Duffy, and today we're going to take your wonderful ideas from your graphic organizer or from your script and put them into a Powtoon. Once you log in, you'll be brought to this menu. Here you can choose from scratch or you can choose from a template. Although their templates are awesome, I think that the templates kind of distract me from my overall vision or from my plan. So I'm going to go ahead and select from this first one here that says start from scratch. Next it will say what kind of theme or look we want for our Powtoon. I can choose from any of these. So think about which one you want to do. I'm going to choose whiteboard. And then once I choose a look, I can choose one of these scenes. To be honest, these scenes are great, but again, they distract me from what I'm trying to do. So I'm just going to minimize them and do my own thing. So my first job is to take the slides and add the text, and that's your first job as well. So I want you to go ahead and select your slide. And then when you come over to this menu bar, if you're adding text, you want to hit the T for text. Let's choose from one of these three. So I'm going to choose the largest one, and I'm going to say Mrs. Duffy's Powtoon. Within this, once I start typing, I can choose from these features. I, this will make mine smaller. This will change it to italic, not italicized, as well as my justification. There's other fancy things you can do, but I find it's easier to stay with these top ones. If I want to say something smaller, I move this down and write by, oops, I select my text here, by Mrs. Duffy. And you'll notice if I come back to the text, then I can change this uh, size right on it. So that's really helpful and user friendly. So for my next slide, I'd like to use some fancier text. So if I come over here to designed text, I have different designs that I can choose from. And then within each design, I have some samples that will get copied over here. So if this is the one I want to use, I can come back and say, this. and I can write Powtoon or whatever I want. Okay. So, but I know that my next slide, I need to have some dialogue. So, I would like some speech bubbles. And I think that speech bubbles are a great way to add to your video. So, I'm going to add my speech bubble here, and it's going to say, hello, how are you today? And I can kind of move the speech bubble around move this around, resize it, change how big it is. You can do all, the, all those fun things. If I hit this here, and then I can change the font. So now I have a speech bubble. One thing that I, we haven't talked about yet is your timeline down here. Your timeline is probably set all the way to the beginning. What I'd like for you to consider doing is you can move your timeline and then add something else. So I want to do another speech bubble. And I wanted to say, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. And I don't really want those speech bubbles to appear at the same time. I want it to seem like one saying something and one's responding. So that's why it makes sense for me to have this one come in at five seconds. To preview this, I can bring it all the way back to the beginning and hit play. So that way it comes in later. Okay. Go ahead, keep continuing to add the slides that you need. And when you're done, make sure you hit save. I want you to name it by hitting on that pencil. and save. I've lost a couple of things using Powtoons, so it's always good to save just in case. Have a great day.